One neat new tool in Civil 3D 2019 revolves around the creation of profile curves and is actually found in the profile layout tools. It is the addition of the ability to create vertical curves based on a high or low point. So you can see here under more fixed vertical curves, I have the same four options that were here before, but I now have two new options for parabolic and circular curves going through a high or low point. So to illustrate this, I'm going to go fixed vertical curve here, parabolic, and I follow the command line. It says specify the high or low point. I'm going to use a trusty, dusty, civil 3D uh, transparent command over here to enter in my station of 400 with an elevation of 122. And notice I get the ability to say this particular curve is crest or sag. This one, of course, is sag. Um, <clears throat> and I will escape to get back to my main command there. I can specify a radius or a K value. Here I will just hit enter to accept my radius. And for my curve length, I'm going to put in 400. So here is my fixed curve, and if I hit escape here, of course I can build um, I can build floating objects or free objects off of this item here, but I can also edit it in a couple of different ways. If I select the profile curve, you can see the grips that I get. In the middle, I have the actual point, that low point, and I have the ability to pick up the whole curve and move it by that low point. And on the grip ends, I have the ability to expand the curve using the same uh, values of radius, okay? Radius and K value. Now also I have the ability to go into the grid view and either in PVI mode or in entity mode I can edit things like the K value or the curve radius. Of course in entity mode I can go to maybe my curve length and change that to 600 and edit it that way. So a great new feature of 2019.